Mr. Asher. Um, although S&P has recently affirmed Kirkland's AAA credit rating, the city has had to continuously cut the budget over the years as costs rise faster than revenue. This unfortunately means that services and programs for our most vulnerable have been the first to go. When dealing with the budget, what will be your top priorities? And do you have any creative solutions for the city to offer help to those in need during these tough times? Well, there's two basic premises that I disagree with there. First off, uh, that costs have uh, grown uh, greater than revenue has grown. Revenue has, in fact, dropped dramatically, and it's dropped dramatically uh, mainly due to the economic uh, situation. Um, but uh, there are some significant uh, revenue sources that we've lost uh, uh, through initiatives, uh, statewide initiatives, that Kirkland voters did not support, uh, but we still uh, ended up losing those uh, uh, revenue capabilities. So costs, in fact, and revenues have diverged, yes, uh, but it's not necessarily because uh, uh, revenue has not, uh, uh, the costs have grown so much uh, uh, faster than, than revenue. We have not uh, uh, burdened uh, the, uh, the poor uh, in our community. Uh, as uh, Council Member Greenway has indicated, we've uh, taken uh, significant pains uh, to try to make uh, those investments. But Kirkland is not the major player uh, in, in taking care of human services in Kirkland. Uh, the state and the county have significant, uh, gr significantly greater roles in, uh, in those investments, uh, and Kirkland makes some contribution, but it's not, not that great a contribution. Our basic tenet of, uh, uh, of service that we provide is uh, public safety, and we will continue to uh, place that as the highest priority that, and we spend over 60% of our budget on that currently, and we can, will continue to do that. But we will also be sensitive to the needs uh, of the needy uh, in our community and around our community, and support those organizations that do uh, support uh, those needs. Uh, we've done that consistently over the years. Thank you. Mr.